hello everyone let's provide a solution to this problem solution we have square root of x plus 2x equals 4 and what we are to do is to make root x the subject so root x will be on the left hand side to be equal to 4 minus 2x. What I have done is to make root x a subject. Now our target is to remove the square root. So this is root x. To remove this square root, you would have to square this. Then we have 4 minus 2x. You'd also square this. Now if you decide to square each of them, separately you will be wrong now this is going to go with this and and then our x is equal to here we have 4 minus 2x in two places 4 minus 2x so what do we do x is already out and it will be equal to 4 times 4 is 16 4 times 2x that will be negative 8x because of this negative then we are coming to pick this 2x minus 2x times 4 is minus 8x minus 2x times minus 2x will be plus 4x squared okay so that's from here we can begin to simplify x is equal to 16 minus 16x because minus 8x minus 8x is minus 16x then I have plus 4 x squared right and then from here let's write the one with the highest power that is 4x squared so it comes here then this is minus 16 this x will follow becomes minus x then we have plus 16 everything is equal to 0 if you do not know this is a quadratic equation so we have 4x squared minus 17x plus 16 equals 0 so how do we solve this problem very quickly okay so we're going to use the formula method for this and x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything is over 2 times a now our a is 4, b is minus 17, c is 16. So our x becomes, in place of minus b, you write minus, minus 17, then plus or minus, we have negative 17 squared, then minus 4 times a is 4 again, times 16. Right? Then all of this is over 2 times 4 because a is 4 now so let's continue okay so x now is equal to negative negative is positive so we have um, 17 plus or minus here we have 17 squared that would be 289 positive then 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 16 is 256, then everything is over 8. But then remember that we are going to subtract this before finding the uh, um, square root. Okay, that's one of the mistakes that some learners make. Because this is a perfect square, and this is also a perfect square. They will find the, uh, um, the square root of this and this, but that will be wrong. Okay, so we have 17 plus or minus, then you subtract this, and that will give you 33, right? Then divide by 8. This equally means that our x is equal to 17 plus square root of 33 over 8, or... 17 minus square root of 33 
over 8. Now, let's try to get our answer in decimal form. So, let's go for the square root of 33 very quickly. Okay, so from here, x is equal to 17 plus square root of 33 is approximately 5.74. And that is over 8. Or 17 minus 5.74. This will be over 8, right? Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so if we... Okay, if we add this together, we have 22.74 over 8. Or subtract this to get 11.26 over 8. Now, let's divide this. If we divide this, we are having approximately 2.84. Or divide this, we have 1.41 approximately. Now, both of them are positive. This means that the both of them cannot satisfy this equation. Square root of x plus 2x equals 4. Okay, so there's no way both of them would um, fit in. Now, let's try to work with... From the look of things, this will not be able to satisfy because if you put this here, it's already more than 4. Okay, because um, 2 times 2.84 is already more than 4. Therefore, this is not going to satisfy. But let's try this and see. We have square root of 1.41 plus 2 multiplied by 1.41, right? Now, let's get that um approximated value for the square root of 1.41 okay so i want to get square root square root of 1.41 that is approximately 1.19 plus this if you multiply this you're going to have 2.82 right okay 2.82 um by the way okay let's 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 get it on let's add what we have here now two plus eight is zero we carry one two mean eight plus one is nine plus the other one that becomes zero again we are going with one then two plus one is three plus the one we are coming with and that will be four then decimal point is here I remember that it is the same 4 that we had on the right hand side. In case you do not know, 4.00 is equal to 4. Right? Thank you for watching.